Yeah, hello, assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Bilal, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I can write a program to evaluate any arithmetic expression using a computer register with zero address instruction. So basically, like you know, in this video, yeah, I'm just like you know going to evaluate the given like in this is the given arithmetic expression. I'm gonna evaluate, and I will just like you know write a program by using a computer register with zero address instruction. So let's get started. So first of all, like you know, I'm just uh, gonna give the heading quickly of solution. Okay, this is the given arithmetic expression. I've got it. And first of all, I can, I'm just going to write it down over here quickly. X is equal to A plus B comes in bracket. Then multiply. Then C plus D come also in bracket. And then multiply. E plus F plus G come also in bracket. And now I'm going to use computer register with zero address instruction to evaluate this expression so I'm just like you know, gonna give the heading quickly of zero address instruction okay so now I'm going to just like you know going to write a program using a computer register with zero address instruction so first of all like you know i'm just going to solve this bracket firstly so first of all like you know i will just like you know write down push and i will push to variable a so i will just like you know push a and top of stack yeah the value will come off a basically this tos toss represents to top of stack now i did push a and on the top of stack yeah i've got the value of a now i will push b so now i'm going to push b and top of stack the value will come up of b now if you see i have been just like you know told you first of all like you know i'm going to just like you know solve the brackets so in this bracket here if you see a is going to be add with b so now here i'm going to just like you know write down the operation of add and now top of stack yeah the value will come up of a plus b now they are going to be add and the value will come up in top of stack of a plus b now after the like you know i did solve this bracket now i'm going to solve this bracket now so in this bracket yeah the first value i've got it c so now i'm going to push c and top of stack now i've got it c the value of c in top of stack now now after c the value is d so now i'm going to push d now top of stack the value will be of d now if you see like in the bracket yeah c is going to be add with d so here again i'm going to just like you know write the operation of add and now top of stack yeah the value will come up of c plus d now i did add a plus b and i did add c plus d now if you see like you know in the expression yeah a plus b and c plus d both of them like you know they are going to be multiply so here i'm going to just write the operation of multiplication so mul it is the like you know it is the operation it represents to multiplication and now i will just like you know multiply a plus b multiply with c plus d so now i did multiply a plus b and c plus d now 
I've got the last bracket. Now I'm going to solve this bracket firstly. So first of all, like you know, in this bracket, the first value is E. So now I'm going to push E. Now in the top of stack here, I've got the value of E. Now the next value is F. Now I'm going to push F and top of stack here, yeah, the value will come up of F. Now if you see in the bracket here, yeah, the third value is G. But as you know, like you know, I'm just using the computer register with zero address instruction. So you have to just like you know, remember that thing here, yeah, in zero address instruction yeah. You can divide, multiply, subtract, or add only two variables. You can't do it more than two. So what I will do over here, I'm not gonna push now the variable g. First of all, like you know, I will just like you know add these two variables because like you know, as I told you, I can just like you know add only two variable. Multiply, divide, subtract, I can just like you know do it only two in zero address instruction. So that's why like you know now I'm going to just like you know put the operation of add and now top of stack the value will come up of E plus F. Now I see in the expression here yeah, E plus F I already have done it like you know I did add to E plus F. Now I will just like you know push to G now because the third value variable in this bracket is G. So now I'm going to push firstly the variable G. Now top of stack the value of G comes up. Now if you see G should be add with E plus F. So now I'm going to again put the operation of add and now top of stack the value will be of E plus F plus G. Now if you see like you know when I did put the operation of multiplication so here I've got a plus b multiply with c plus d. Now this is the one value in the top of stack and I've got another value in top of stack is e plus f plus g. Now if you see in the expression here yeah, both of them like you know these two brackets here yeah, should be multiplied with this bracket. So now I'm going to these two brackets here yeah, should be multiplied with this bracket so that's why like you know, now I'm going to put the operation of multiplication and now top of stack the value will become of a plus b multiply c plus d now this is the one value and now this value is going to be multiplied with this value multiply with e plus f plus g now when i solve like you know this arithmetic e expression here yeah, so now i get the value in top of stack like you know the whole value now i'm going to pop means like you know, i'm gonna just like you know take it out the value from top of stack and i will just like you know will put the value in x why x because like you know in the expression if you see like you know it was x is equal to if there was going to be like you know um, f variable or s variable so i would have like you know written down over here s or f but here if you see like you know, in the expression it is x is equal to so that's why like you know now i'm going to just like you know pop the value from the top of stack and i will just like you know put the value in x variable so now in x here yeah, I get the value of top of stack like you know the whole value the answer of this expression here yeah, came up in top of stack now top of stack yeah now the value like you know the answer of the top of stack yeah will go in the variable of x now I hope like you know you understood how you can evaluate or like you know you can say like you know solve this arithmetic expression by using a computer register with zero address instruction so in the next video like you know i'm just going to show you how you can evaluate any arithmetic expression using a computer register with one address instruction 
so in this video like you know, i've been just like you know showed you about zero address instruction and in the next video i'm gonna just like you know show you about one address instruction so i hope like you know you understood how you can uh, write a program um, using a computer register with zero address instruction but still like you know, if you've got any question regarding zero address instruction yeah um so you can comment me and i'll try to reply you as soon as possible so inshallah next time like you know uh, i will just like you know come up with the topic of one address instruction so if you like my this video so please like my channel subscribe mm -hmm. to my channel and if you can so please press the bell icon as well so inshallah next time like you know i will just like you know come up with the one address instruction topic so until that time allah hafiz and take care of yourself